Sis, we a whole chameleon out here today. <laughs> so you guys, today I am doing a dramatic look with a white liner. This is the look and if you guys want to know how I got it, then you know what you gotta do. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my Kat Von D white concealer. Um, it's literally a white concealer that they sent me from joining the program, the artist program. Now I'm taking this Colored Rain palette and taking that mauve pink um, shade and I am building that color up into my transition area and I am using a Dillion Tools brush. Now I'm going to take a small Morphe brush that I absolutely positively love and that purple fuchsia magenta like um, shade and I'm placing that into my crease area and I really had to build up that color. You guys, I've been having a little bit of a hard time blending my shadows into my crease area. I don't know what's up, but anyways. Now I'm going to take this orange shade and go at the, basically the, the outside of that um, purple and mauve color to kind of fade out that purple shade so that it just looks nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take a flat concealer brush and I'm going to go back with that um, white concealer from Kat Von D and I am going to cut my crease. I absolutely love, love, love um, this small concealer brush by Dillium Tools. Anything that, you know, can, you know, basically just cut your crease for you, anything that's nice and sharp, has a nice edge to it, it will work just fine. Now I'm going to take this gold shade and place that all over my mobile lid all the way up to where I cut my crease. And this color is so super creamy and pigmented like I really really love that shade in that palette. Now I'm going to take that orange shade and blend it at the edges of the gold shade that I just placed down. Just so we have a little gradient effect and then I packed on a little bit more of that magenta purple shade inside of the palette at the um, outer corner. This is a NYX liner and you guys the applicator on this is so super thin it is absolutely ridiculous like I almost like said uh uh I ain't got time because this thing it, it was so super sharp. Now I'm going to take this white liner by LA Splash. Um, you guys know that I have a discount code with them and it is Love Serenity. If you want to buy any of their liners, I do um, like all of their plain liners. Absolutely love, love, love their um, glitter liners. They are so convenient, especially for clients that want like a dash of color or well, a dash of glitter. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Now I'm applying the NYX Glitter Glue. Um, and then I'm going to apply a glitter um, that was made by, I'm going to have to put it in the video because I can't think of the name just quite yet, but the glitters are so absolutely beautiful. It's like the little trend that's going on right now where they're chunky and tiny glitters. They're glitter um, shapes that are all mixed together. I absolutely, absolutely love the glitter. I didn't think I would like it because of my hooded lids and I thought that it would just be falling off, but it actually worked out just fine. Now I'm gonna take um, these two primers together. Um, I just like one for the mattifying part and one for the pore minimizing part. I, yeah, they're just like the perfect match. Now I am using the Fenty Cosmetics um, foundation in the shade 400. If you don't know, I went down from the 420 to the 400. I thought it was a better match. All right, since I took the Fenty foundation, I decided I was gonna go ahead and pick up this matte stick in the shade Maple. This is a different type of highlight. Like I always enjoy putting on this concealer on my face. Like I absolutely love it. I don't like completely like the mattifying type part of about it, but just the color itself and the application because you have to warm it up. You cannot forget to warm it up on the back of your hands like you'll see me do in just a second um, with this truffle shade um, because it'll just start tugging at your skin if you don't. So make sure you warm it up on the back of your hand. But that highlight shade, that is like my favorite, favorite one besides the... Um, the glowy highlighter one in the shade rum i love 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 like she did her thing with these matchsticks i've 
I've, I've liked them from the beginning, but I just, I really, really love maple. It just, it's so perfect. So now I'm gonna take um, the um, blender that your girl Nikki Tutorials um, suggested that everybody get in. You guys know I'm gonna tell you the truth. She did her thing with this one. Like I absolutely love this um, blender. It is so super smooth. It blended out all my stuff so perfectly. It did not eat up any of my concealer, any of my foundation. It helped make sure that everything stayed nice and full coverage. You guys all need to go and get this, which I'm going to post a link down in the description bar on where you can get the blender. And the best thing about it, it's only $6. It's absolutely positively worth it. I went um, back to Ulta and picked up the shade number 30 um, to set my highlight in the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And you guys, I don't regret it. It was money well spent. This 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 stuff is so finely milled it feels so super amazing the drugstore is winning right now like cheap products are winning right now i did also pick up this new um bronzer by anastasia i haven't really i have really laid back on anastasia products but i wanted to try out this bronzer because when i tried the ColourPop bronzer i was like shook like back in the day i hated bronzers that literally say bronzers because they just did the absolute most, but bronzers have come a long way in my opinion. And these, this bronzer here is like absolutely perfect. I should have probably did this um, warmth thing beforehand, but I did take a little bit of that um, light shade in the palette that I created from Anastasia in her contour refills to kind of like do a little extra pizzazz to my highlighted areas. Um, I'm taking cinnamon to kind of warm up my face a little bit more. Um, yeah, and to bring my highlight and my contour together or my highlight and my bronzer together. Because um, I didn't use a contour shade. I just used that bronzer which looks absolutely like my face is like really beat. Like y'all can't tell me my face ain't beat right now. But this is a Studio Fix Powder in NC55. I'm trying to figure out the shade that I like in these Studio Fix Powders and I really haven't come to you know agreement that you know NC55 is the perfect match for me I kind of like NC47 and that's really weird because I don't think I'm that light anyways this is rum by um, Fenty Cosmetics well Fenty Beauty excuse me I'm sorry but um, I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I am applying this with um, a Real Techniques setting brush. I think this is my favorite way to apply it. Then on top of that, an OG, the um, Anastasia of Beverly Hills So Hollywood highlighter. I still have this. You guys, we never go, well, I don't go through a highlighter. I don't go through contour. I don't go through anything. But because I don't I don't wear my foundations. I don't wear makeup every day. I'm a police officer. You can't forget that. So I don't wear everything every day. Um, this LA Girl blush, super pigment. Just I'm just gonna drop the mic at that right there. It absolutely be beautiful. Now I'm gonna take that magenta shade and that orange shade, go back and forth between the two and applying it to my lower lash line and smoking it out at the same time. Just going the bold route. You guys, I never do bold looks or I, I have just really scurried away from bold looks. So now I'm trying to get back into them. Now I'm taking this Prestige Cosmetics um, Velvety Smoky Liner, I think it's called. That stuff is so super black, it's ridiculous, and it's waterproof, so it's amazing. This is a NYX, um, I think, Chestnut Lip Pencil. And these two um, liquid, well, one is a liquid lipstick and one is a lip gloss, both from those of colors. I think I found another peachy combo. <laughs> I, I love the way this lip came out. I did go back and kind of line my lips a little bit with that brown liner, but love, love, love those two colors from those of colors. So you guys, this is the finished look. If you enjoy or you like this look, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me, okay? Now, please don't leave without subscribing either. And if you just decide, I mean, come on, just hit that bell button so you'll know when I upload next. But thank you guys so, so, so much 
again for coming back to see me or if you're new thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video please <laughs> bye hello it's me